hello so in this video we will see how we can sign a document uh, received on email via signature application so as you can see I have got this email to uh, sign this document from signature application now to proceed to sign I have to click on this button to review the document and sign you will be landed on this page where you can decide if you want to log into your account to sign the document so if you have an account on signature application you can log in with your credentials and proceed to signing or if you don't have an account uh, on the application you can just simply continue as a guest to uh, complete signing on the document also you can see the document details on this page now you will get an OTP on your email address as a guest or if you are a verified user you will get it on your both email ID as well as mobile number. So I will just uh, add the um, provide the OTP to proceed to signing the document. Now once the OTP is authenticated uh, you will be taken on the details page where uh, you can see all the document details okay so you can see the uh, document details due date who all are the signers and observers on the document document history and other details related to the document you need to click on proceed to sign for uh, providing a signature on the document all right so here you can uh, review the document and you can see where on what page your signatures are required this this flag indicates that a signature is required on this page you need to click on this particular uh, control to move to the page where your signature is required okay uh, now you need to click on the placeholder to provide your signatures so this is taking my default signature from the profile uh, since I have previously signed documents on this platform uh, or you can choose your signature being a first time signer first time guest signer you can have all these options to you know capture your signature you can just simply draw it or choose a, a image of your signature or you can simply uh, select from the fonts so I'll just use this draw option and provide my signature on the document Alternatively, you can also reassign the document if you think you are not the correct person to sign the document. So, uh, let me show these options as well. You can reassign, you can put in the email address of the reassignee, name, email address, and the reason as to why you are reassigning this document. Or you can decline the document with a specific reason. So if you do not agree to any clause of this document, you can simply decline it. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and sign this document and click on submit. So this shows the signing process signing your document with your unique private key creating hashes and time stamping the document so that it cannot be tampered and then storing it securely onto the signature server you can click on continue So you can see that the document is completely signed. You can view detailed logs of the document, uh, who, who received the passcode and when, what was the passcode received and all these detailed logs you can see from here and you can export them into text format and download it for you know records. Then you can see the blockchain details and you can see the status of the document. Uh, you can see the certificate from this uh, particular section uh, the certificate gives the details of all the all the details of the signers like email address IP address from where the document is signed the browser used by the signers to you know capture the signatures you can also see the uh, location of uh, signing for the signatories so yeah this gives the irrefutable evidence of all the details everything uh, 
that was done uh, is captured on this particular certificate of completion the signing timestamps and how many signatures are uh, taken on this particular document you can also see the audit logs as to uh, what all the hashes were created while you know signing the document document status and timestamp you can also you know export it in the pdf format and store it for your records so that's it uh, pretty much simple on how you can sign the document on the signature application thanks